Hi everyone and welcome to another part of these Solidity tutorials. In this part we're going to create uh, a new contract called crowdfunding but uh, as you can remember we had another crowdfunding smart contract which I'm going to um, review it, this contract which was a simpler one so um, we're going to make something more complete so um, let me save this one as well and uh, deploy this smart contract so once I deploy it and take a look at the contract as you can see it's just a simple project that you can uh, determine its goal amount and its name and then you can fund the project uh, how much you like <coughs> whatever amount you like and then um, count the project and then um, here you can see the uh, projects so here for example I can name um, here we can crowdfund multiple number of projects so for example um, I can call it call it project one and then uh, its goal amount is two million so let's transact so the project has been created so project count is one and if I click on one you will see that uh, the project ID one and the goal amount is 2000 and the current amount is zero and the creator of this is, uh, this project is uh, the first address this address right over here so now we want to um, add an amount as for funding the project with another address like this so for example here I can uh, add 10 ethers or uh, maybe one ether and copy the address paste it over here and so okay we, we do not need transaction for this one because this one would uh, need the receive and fallback we haven't had this uh, in this smart contract so we can simply add an amount here so for example I can uh, fund it with 1000 and transact so I think we need uh, funding for this uh, contract for it to work so let me copy and paste um, from the previous contracts the fallback and receive to the crowdfunding so there it is and here I can add the crowdfunding receive and fallback so now here uh, we can deploy it another time let me close this one and right now we're able to add actually let's create a project first so project one with two million to uh, tokens amount and so let's fund it with another contract with another address so here I can choose Goy or you can choose Ether we don't need that much money so also let me copy and paste the address transact so uh, what's the problem here we've added the should have either received okay let me close this one as well we'll deploy it again so um, I'm gonna deploy it to the first address deploy and as you can see it's been deployed now let's define a project so project one so the goal amount is two million let's transact it's been completed and now with the second address I'm going to add one way to the contract so let me copy the address paste it over here and transact as you can see some balance has been added to the balance of this smart contract now we're going to fund the project and here I can choose for example 2000 so let's click transact and let's see what the problem here is that it does not accept anything so project ID not valid 
So actually this is the ID of the project, not the amount. So uh, I just forgot the project. So uh, here we can choose, uh, we can write the ID of the project, click transact, and as you can see, it's now completed. So we do not need to receive and fall back here because um, <coughs> as you can rem remember, previously we didn't need to uh, enter the amount. We would just choose uh, the number of project to fund and uh, the amount wouldn't matter. So uh, this project didn't have the option for us to choose how much we want to fund the project. It was just uh, the matter of funding or not funding the project and there were multiple number of projects but in the new crowdfunding <coughs> smart contract we're going to create a contract so that you can determine the goal amount and also the amount that you want to fund the project with so for that specific contract we need to also uh, fund the uh, smart contract so, like this so it needs fallback and receive and then we'll be able to proceed with the smart contract deployment and uh, testing it. So now let's um, create a new file in the contracts folder. So I'm gonna close the previous ones and here in the contracts folder. So now I have refreshed the page so that uh, we can create a contract. So let's create a new file and I'm gonna call this crowdfunding2. Crowd funding to dot soul so uh, just as always I'm gonna copy and paste the first two lines here in this contract and then we're gonna create the contract so contract crowdfunding crowdfunding so here I can um, first enter the address public project owner project owner and you int 256 public goal amount you int 256 public goal amount you int 256 public current amount you int 256 public current amount mapping from the address to the uint256 public contributions and bool public campaign closed campaign closed event contribution received so this is the event that we'll put for contributions received country fusion Contributions received. And it will get the address of the contributor. Contributor. U into 256 amount. <coughs> amount. And then uh, we'll put another event named campaign closed when we want to finish the crowdfunding. So campaign closed. So address contributor, address contributor, and you into 56 amount. Uh, no, actually this one is doesn't need uh, any address, it needs a uh, bool successful. So that's it. So now we're going to create a constructor here, constructor with u into 256 goal amount, 
that we get from the user. So we'll enter this at the time of deployment before that. So now we'll have project owner, project as a message sender, msg.sender. The goal amount, which equals the um, goal amount with underlying goal amount. The current amount, which is uh, zero at first, current amount equals to zero. And campaign closed, which is false at first, campaign closed, which is false at the beginning. And there we go. So we need to write a function called contribution. So I will continue with the rest of the smart contract in the next video. So till the next one, goodbye.